Wow, it's 5.30 in the morning. Can you hear these frogs? Ribbit. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day. I just kind of woke up. Um, going deep sea fishing again with uh, Captain uh, Jim Cochran on the Kim Ann. Last time we uh, we did a video um, and we caught we caught a bunch of fish. So this time we're going after kingfish, the big the biggins, the big logs of the ocean. That's what we're going after. We'll see what we catch. Um, anyway, here we go. How you doing? Good morning. Need... That's what we're using today. Jim, Captain Jim says it reminds uh, reminds them of a vermilion snapper and they just go crazy for it. So we're gonna try this. You know, when we get lines in, we get them out there and straight. All right, so we have uh, both downriggers set up. They're both going off. Just trolling here. We're gonna wait and see um, see what happens. Let's wait for some action. There's a little bait ball. There we go. We're gonna troll right through this little bait ball here. That's where the big fish like to attack. All right, <laughs> we did it. First fish on, baby. First fish. Not a biggie, but yeah. big enough. Let's get him. This guy out here, I can't really zoom in too close, but he's out here on a jet ski fishing. He's got a whole fishing setup. We're, we're about, how many, like 10 miles out, 11 miles out? That's ballsy. Don't tell us where the thing is. Got it coming up. Come on, you can lift it, Jeff. Okay, gaff. No, you don't need a gaff. You can lift it. Pop it just popped out. Oh, right at the boat. Popped it at the boat. Damn. There you go. Okay, watch the other line. Top water action right there. We're gonna troll right through that. Oh man, Bonita jumping out of the water after. Oh, here we go. About to get fish on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Barracuda! Okay, you know what? I've just been demoted to the fourth mate. Blackened Spanish mackerel. Brought out my Louisiana crawfish seafood boil and I just rubbed it all over. That's gonna be so spicy. I can't wait. The rest of this Spanish mackerel, I'm actually gonna fry it because I, I know Dean will eat it if I do that. So we just got some panko. It's already pre seasoned from Publix. We're gonna go egg wash, panko, and then I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna do extra virgin olive oil just to give it a little. I don't extra virgin this. That's all I'm saying. I don't usually use olive oil, but since they're buy one, get one BOGO at Publix, I want to see what it's going to taste like. And I know this seems like a big waste and I know you're going to hate me in the comments or whatever, but like, who knows? We'll see what it tastes like. All right, looking good here. And I, I usually add a little bit of lemon juice. I don't have fresh lemons right now, so I'm just gonna use this great value, thank you, uh, lemon juice, and try to get it underneath so it steams. I'm gonna steam it in that. Cool off just a little bit here. I'm gonna try it out. By the way, this is my first time eating Spanish mackerel. It's really not that bad, I guess. I don't, it's very spicy, that's my fault. But well, holy cow. It, it has like a It's not fishy at all. I thought it was gonna be fishy. Someone told me it's fishy, but um, that's pretty good. Shoot, I'd eat it again. Hell yeah. All right. All right, let's see the honest, honest opinion here. I may have overcooked it, I don't know. But this is uh, fried in olive oil with panko and Spanish mackerel. So here we go. That's, it's okay. Let me try one that's not so burnt. Yeah, here we go. That's a little better. That looks a little better. It is better. Okay. Actually, it's quite good. It's good. It's, it's pretty good. I would put a um, one to 10. This gets like a Six almost, 5.5, 5.5. I'd say 5.5 out of 10. I mean, I would eat it again, absolutely. Not my favorite, but it's it's good. It kind of has like a, a chickeny, like chicken. It's weird. It reminds me of fried chicken. So after um, dipping it in a little bit of ketchup, I'm almost out of seven. So, seven out of 10. Wow. Yeah, that's all I needed, just a little bit of sauce. I mean, the fish doesn't taste fishy. I mean, it looks good. Nice white meat in there, you know? It's not, it's not, uh, I cut, I cut all the, um, I 
cut all the red out, you know, the, um, the, the vein, the blood, you know, the bloodline, cut that out. It's, delicious. it's actually delicious. This is not bad. This is like restaurant. I would order this in a restaurant or if it was like an appetizer or something. Well, fish nuggets. Peep. It's good. That's all I got. It's good. Yeah, there you go. That's that's my assessment of it. I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a big uh, like or a thumbs up. Really easy, quick, quick way to make this fish. Um, kid, kids will eat it. I guarantee you, you, you dip this in a little bit of ketchup or something, these kids are going to eat it. So thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Keep it reeling. Bye-bye.